In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the effect of green vegetation on travel of the oxygen. Again, here we have taken the two alternators which are connected to the cellar. EF1 is nothing but a vegetation voltage for the generator, EF2 is nothing but a vegetation voltage for the generator. ZS1 is nothing but a synchronous impedance of the generator, ZS2 is nothing but a synchronous impedance of the generator. VT is nothing but a terminal voltage. IA1 is nothing but a current supply of the generator, IA2 is nothing but a current supply of the generator. At no load, nothing but a, we are not connecting any load at all, parallel of the system. In this case, EF1 equal to EF2. We assume that EF1 equal to EF2. There is no resultant voltage in this load. The circulating current also will be the zero. Suppose, if we increase the excitation of the first generator, the magnitude of EF1 will be increased. So the resultant voltage which is applied in this circuit will also will be increased with the EF1 that is EF2. Cause is to send a current through the loop that is IT. IT is nothing but circulating current which lags to EC by 90 degrees. So with respect to the EF1, the circulating current lags the EF1. Due to the armature reaction, there is a demagnetization effect will be expressed in the first generator where we increase the excitation. So the net flux will be decreased. So with respect to the second generator, the circulating current leads the EF2. So due to the armature reaction, the flux in the second generator will be increased. So the EF2 will be increased. In this manner, there is a balance between the EF1 and EF2 at no load because of the circulating current. The resultant voltage in the loop will be zero. So finally the circulating current will be zero. If we change the excitation of any one generator. Now if we, if we come to the loader condition, initially we are assuming that EF1 EF2, IA1 is both IA2. VT and power factor of a two generators are the constant that is cos. This is VT, terminal voltage, that is of a. This is EF1 and EF. The angle between the VT and EF1 and EF2 is a delta. This is I1 equal to I2. The angle between the VT and I1 equal to I2 is nothing but a C. That is the equation. So whenever we are increasing the excitation of a generator, EF1 will be advanced. That pressure we are taking away. Taken as an EF1 diagram that is shown with a dotted black. We know that the terminal voltage is equal to EF1 plus EF2. Once the EF1 is increased to a EF1 diagram, the EF2 has to be to maintain the terminal voltage as a constant that is shown EF2. Diagram. So there is a phase difference between the EF1 and EF2. This much of voltage will be experiencing in the loop of a two alternator circuit construction. So because of this voltage, the circulating current will be passed. Two generators with a loader condition. When the circulating current is passing through the two generators, the circulating current will be aided with a first generator where we increase the excitation. So, resultant armature current will be increased, that is shown here, I1 dash with an angle of theta 1. The circulating current is opposite to the current coupled with the second generator, so the resultant current coupled with the second generator will be decreased, that is, come to the I A2 dash with an angle of theta. The resultant of these two currents are nothing but a load. Now we are completing the remaining vector. So the tip of the v VT, we have to draw a one vector up to the EF1 dash that is equal to J I1 dash plus which is perpendicular to the IA1 dash. From the tip of the V2, I have to draw a one vector up to the EF1 equal to EF2 vector that is equal to J IA1 axis equal to J IA2 axis. Again from the tip of the VT, I have to draw one more vector that is J IA2 dash which is perpendicular to the IA2. So from this phase diagram we can observe very easily that the magnitude of the current supplied by the second generator will be decreases and the angle will be also will be decreases from theta to theta. The current supplied by the first generator will be increases to I1 dash and the angle also will be increases to the theta. The active current supplied by two generators is called the production of IA1 dash and IA2 dash on the VT phasor is constant. But the vertical component is different on nothing but reactive power supplied by two generators. As the excitation is increased, the reactive power supplied by the generator will be affected. But there is no change in the real power supplied by the parallel operator. In this case, we increase the excitation of the first alternator. So the reactive power supplied by the alternator will be increased, but the real power is constant. So when the total reactive power is same for given load, so the reactive power supplied by the second generator. In this manner, we can observe the effect of increasing the field current in a parallel operator generator at a lower condition. Thank you very much. If you have any doubts, you can ask me directly or you can ask me in the comment box. So that I am
வாழ்வே இருக்கும் 